Okay, Thursday, November 12, 2015, the Northampton Senior Services and uh, the Council on Aging Board Meeting will open. Public session, I don't see anyone here. So we'll go for the approval of the minutes from the October 1st meeting. Any motion? Barbara? I'll second. Jim? Are there any changes, alterations, problems with it? Anything you found that was no problems? Okay. All those in favor of adopting the minutes? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Very good. That has been approved. Now, staff report. Jennifer Carberry, Senior Services Assistant, Fitness Center and Medical Transportation. You get a lot of hats over there. <laughs> a few. Hopefully I'm wearing them well today. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, let's see, the last time I presented was back in July, so this is report since um, July 1st. And I'm happy to report that with the um, Highland Valley Elder Services, we were awarded a grant for the medical transportation department, uh, $3,250. And will certainly come in handy to support that. Um, we have had 20 new participants enroll in the medical transportation program. We have provided 140 rides since July uh, to 38 participants. We have had three new drivers added to the program, and we have actually had three that have left the program for various reasons. Um, I currently have 14 drivers on roll, and there are about 10 active drivers. Did you say 140 rides? Yes, since, since July. July. Since July, among the 38 participants. Okay. Um, as far as the fitness center goes, Anthony has left this position, and um, that was on September 22nd. 2015 was his last day. We have had 51 new members join since July. A lot, large part of that in part due to curves in Northampton closed in August. Um, we received the most participants there um, at 20, 20 new members in September. So, and that is about what I have to per um, provide for information as far as that goes. Have we posted the job for Anthony? Anthony's job yet? We have, yes. Okay. Any, Any applications? applications? I'm not sure where we stand on that as of yet. Um, not officially through the city. Somebody, uh, two different people left me notes that they were interested in the job. So we got posted maybe two weeks ago. Okay. So that job got posted the fitness. The positions are all North, uh, Northampton Senior Services assistance and then it gets broken down like Jennifer's an NCOA or Northampton Senior Services assistant but her job titles are then uh, medical transportation and fitness uh, center coordinator um, and then somebody like Sean or Anthony were senior services assistants in the fitness center so um, at first when the job got posted for the fitness center you couldn't really tell if it was for the fitness center because it's everything for an assistant is all put together so it could be um, things that you'd never think were part of the fitness center so um, but and that was as of last Tuesday um, or Wednesday so maybe there's more That's since better. it got put on the website and then also can I just mention um, the uh, handyman position because that was handyman slash primary van driver slash senior services assistant. I mean, that's just how the whole position morphed. Um, that job description was getting rewritten and then it's still in the process with human resources. So as soon as that's ready, um, it'll get posted. And that's the position that Bill Hubbard uh, had before he retired from us. Any other questions? While we're on the subject of the gym, how is uh, how are we going towards moving? Mm -hmm. um, I went to City Council on Thursday. Um, let me back up. The mayor signed off on the request to spend uh, twenty-four thousand five hundred from the gift account because that's the first step. 
So the money in the gift account is come, it comes from donations and contributions, the annual appeal. Um, so the mayor first has to approve the, any expenditures coming from the gift account. I went to city council um, to request the spending of 24500 for seven new pieces of equipment and the moving of all of that equipment to the back room. Um, so I have to wait until the next city council meeting because it's two readings, so they will do it at the next meeting. Does it have to be done to the room itself? No, no uh, what's that in the room, um, everything would have to come out, but we, uh, as if you, any of you look in that room, we've kept it to a minimum. We didn't put anything back up on the walls. Um, the only thing in there are the tables for meetings at the front and then all the chairs to the back. Uh, that's all that's in there. It's very sparse in there. So, you know, there's nothing that needs to be done. The only thing we have to remember is nothing can get bolted into the floor because of the radiant heat. Um, it will pop up. A water pipe underneath. <coughs> so that's the same in the current put the center. Nothing's bolted down there. Nothing's anymore. bolted down. No. Okay. No. So then again, the old fitness center will be tables set up. That's where bingo will happen um, in a variety of meetings, and it's pretty much a swap. Uh, and of course, that room is smaller, but I, you know I think we'll do well. Uh, we'll be able to still put on a lot and you know as Jennifer mentioned the number of new members that we are getting in that fitness center um, it warrants it so it was you know I think it was an excellent move good move yeah, yeah. well and, you know sometimes good comes out of mm -hmm. yeah, something yeah. that wasn't so good well it made yeah. us look at things we're much more careful yeah, which, and you know, sometimes you have to be private yeah yeah so you know we should look at everything every so often okay any other questions for Jennifer Jennifer, thank you very much. Thank you. Anyone to finances? Yes, Jennifer. Um, Chris, yeah. Um, maybe we can go to something else because Jennifer, I mean, um, sorry, Jennifer, not <laughs> um, Crystal went to get the um, printout. Okay, well, how about the director's report? Did you the to that. Um, so one of the things that I've been working a lot on is um, we came to the end of this year's 2015 Senior Veteran Tax Workoff Program. Um, this was the second year that the mayor has instituted that program. And um, so October 31st is when veterans and seniors had to complete their hours. So for 2015, in order to get $1,000 in abatement on their property tax, um, a person needed to work 111 hours. So um, trying to get all the hours, sign-off sheets from the supervisors from the various departments, uh, including schools. Um, and actually, I just got some of the final hours today. Um, what happens is then those documents go to the, the assessor, Joan Serafin, and uh, she signs off on them and then it goes through the channels of the auditors so that there's an abatement on their third quarter um, property taxes. So we had um, four veterans and 16 seniors who um, participated in the program. Thank you. Uh, and not all of them worked 111 hours. Uh, a number of them only worked you know, a few hours. Uh, the, the new program for 2016, everything will be updated um, hopefully by next week on the website and we can start applying again. And, um, there's 20 slots for seniors and 10 for veterans. Um, I've already gotten a number of inquiries of people who want to fill out all the documents. Um, this year some of the documents have changed because the uh, eligibility has changed. Um, that it would be income in the household rather than the income of just one person in the household who's applying. So there could be three seniors in a household who all have income, and that would all be included for 2016, whereas last year and this year, if there were three seniors in the household and one was applying, only one income was counted. So this would be a, a fair way for uh, people to qualify. Mm -hmm. And also it's based on the Massachusetts median income and it will get updated each year. So somebody else is figuring out what 
the, the uh, median income is. We don't need to, to think about that. So it'll be a fairer system. Mm -hmm. So hopefully next week everything's ready and people can start applying and you know, people apply that Joan Serafin verifies um, the information that they provide. Um, people cannot owe any property tax. Um, if they do, they are eligible uh, unless they pay that off. And uh, then they are interviewed by me. We figure out where they can get placed. Um, and hopefully we have a lot of locations this year. Uh, we had a number of se seniors and one veteran here last, this past um, time. So it worked out really, really well. And they were pretty easy to manage and things like that. Well, there's volunteers. Yeah, they're, you're, uh, overall, I think, you know, it's, it's manageable. Okay. And there was a lot of work being done. We had one person doing the library. Mm -hmm. Um, another person who did a lot of cleaning in the building, um, another person at the reception desk, um, somebody who was doing some work in the uh, gift shop um, and coffee shop. So, Is there an income level for the veterans? No, for veterans there is no income level. You just need to be a veteran. Yeah. So, so that, that's what I'm working on. In, will be forever. <laughs> it's a really good program. Um, it was great that the mayor started that two years ago. This will be 2016, it'll be three years. And you know, many communities have had this going for years. And each community does it a little bit different. The, um, the maximum threshold is $1,000 um, set by the legislature. So it's, it's good that this gives yeah. people an opportunity as a way to help with their taxes. Um, so we mentioned about the, um, John asked the question about the fitness center, and I mentioned going to city council. Yeah. Um, city council to uh, ask for expenditures to be approved from the, the um, gift account. So one of the items that was presented to the city council was the 24500 for the purchase of commercial grade um, fitness equipment um, and then also moving current equipment to the um, new fitness center area um, up to four hundred dollars for the purchase of billiard table pool balls cue sticks cue racks and miscellaneous builder billiard supplies and that would be in memory of ralph taylor up to a thousand dollars for the purchase of a volunteer bulletin whiteboard announcement display board in memory of Mary Smith and that's something that would be at the main entrance mm -hmm. and job, uh, job postings for volunteers needs uh, different events about what's happening that we need volunteers for maybe the picture of a volunteer and some history whatever um, so it's it would be a, an announcement board was that Mary Meadow no, Mary, Mary Smith. Smith oh okay yeah this was something that Oh, her family had agreed to. Mm -hmm. um, up to $3,500 for the purchase of a marketplace wagon kiosk to use in the lobby as a point of sale for mini sale merchandise. We usually have two tables out there with mini sale stuff on it. Um, and this would be in memory of Miri Neto. And it's similar to if you go to the mall, those like wagon things in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, what's that? <laughs> so it would be in there, we can move it. Um, if we have to use the lobby for something, um, you know, <laughs> yeah. just, just wheel it out. And, uh, yeah, so that would be it. And then um, 5500 I know some of you will be thrilled with this, the purchase of the sign for out front. John, John, this is specific for you. <laughs> Since you brought it up once. Um, up to $5,500 for the purchase of the sign for the front of the senior center. So that's... I don't know what the sign will look out look like. We'll see what it can buy. Um, it'd be great if it could lit, light up and we could put an announcement yeah. on it. That'd be great. No. no. Yeah. So oh. I have to yes. work with yeah. yeah. the like the high school. High school. school is a nice line. So um, and maybe we can get something smaller for the back because I can maybe mention that too about um, the back of the building. So the city council again uh, voted first. Um, meeting and now the second um, will be next week next thursday's council meeting 
Did you have any problem with it? They had some questions, um, but it was all, all good. good. Yeah. You know, um, one of the questions was Mary. about uh, curves because curves um, offered their fitness equipment to us, and so Sean Romanski and I went over to Curves and we looked at the equipment and decided that one, because Curves equipment is made specifically for Curves, that we would have problems getting parts and um, maintenance mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just didn't think that it would be uh, appropriate for our mm -hmm. fitness center. Wow. So, I mean, we did look at it and talked about it, but decided not to. And it was a wonderful offer by Curves, and they either had to donate it to a nonprofit where they would have to dispose of it in a landfill. So oh, that's, really? that's wow. just part of the company's. Did all of the curves close or just this site? Just this one. So yeah. maybe they can use it at other sites. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's their A lot of them are closing. Yeah. Are they really? Oh, yeah. 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 But they were closing. When we went over there, they were very helpful and they showed us everything. Yeah, Patty had to the equipment is also pro is programmable, but they were, weren't allowed to sell us the program oh. because it's copyrighted. So if you're purchasing exercise equipment, that's programmable, but you can't program it because you can't have the copyrighted. It, it also makes it so the equipment wouldn't be useful no, to us. Whatever program is set right now, it is set up forever. Right, exactly. That was a very good thought to think about the uh, maintenance and the possible oh, repair. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. was yeah. Uh, yeah. and then you know, point what good does to us. So, but it, it was a nice offer. It was I agree. Showed them my appreciation for being thought of. Um, you know, mm -hmm. we do welcome donations. Do we have as a general rule? A company or somebody come in and look at our equipment every now and then to adjust mm -hmm. it to see if this is wrong. Um, I'm, I'm going to say we don't have like a routine maintenance mm -hmm. on our equipment, and we probably should. Mm -hmm. um, Sean is pretty knowledgeable, and I think Anthony was as well, so that if something happens to the equipment, it's brought to um, our attention that it needs to be done. Um, some things had just been replaced in there. Um, Jennifer had ordered different parts to some of the machines. But I'm going to say, you know, that. Fitness Center has been going since March of 2008, and we've been really fortunate with that equipment. Yeah, I think so. Um, well, people probably take care of it too, so it's not used. Yeah, and you also have uh, the, uh, the elderly population would generally more respectful of equipment than, let's say, so. right. a kid in the gym. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very true. That's probably true of the whole thing. Probably don't beat on right. hard. <laughs> well done. So, uh, so that's. that's uh, about expenditures. Um, also at the city council meeting, first reading um, were for two new members for the board. Uh, Jerry Ann Butler, some of you may know her. Uh, she served on our senior center building committee. She also uh, worked for the Commission for the Blind, is that correct? Yeah, she's been in 25 years. years. And um, so, she, and also she's an avid member of our fitness center. Oh, great. Uh, so she, <clears throat> was uh, first reading, and then Melissa Einberg, uh, who is actually one of our benefits counseling volunteers. Um, so, second reading again will be next mm -hmm. week. Um, so, Jenny Ann a benefit counseling volunteer too. Okay, and Jerry Ann's also a benefits counselor. Oh, yeah. I would tend to be bring this up to 15 again, although we have two that are, <clears throat> shall we say, marginal at the moment. Um, Anything else? Yeah, and so we have the um, holiday craft festival and marketplace happening. Mm -hmm. um, so if any of you have nothing to do tomorrow, <laughs> please come down. We have a lot of work to do. Um, and then Saturday, it's the actual event, and vendors can start coming in at 7.15. It ends at 2, and by the time they all clear out, and we get things picked up on um, it's probably like four o'clock so if anybody has time we would love it if you are baking anything great um, if you need to buy gifts for anybody or yourself come on down and barbara i think you're going to do the front savings bank again um, john will be in the kitchen with barbara doing our um, and oh, Lorraine as well. Okay, I, I don't have everybody's 
itinerary up for what they're doing. East Coast um, crew. Yeah, and then I know some of you are coming tomorrow to mark the floor in the, because uh, we have craft vendors in the break room and in the lobby. And then we use this room, the activity room, and the uh, back room, uh, which will be the last year that that can get used. How That's many vendors? Uh, I think 34. I really, I limited it to 34. Some really good ones. Some new ones, very good. And unfortunately, there's like four other craft fairs that are. Yeah, well, we hope people go. Yeah, 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 go on the circuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It won't be like they will just go to one. No, they'll be glad. Oh, this for today. Mm -hmm. And then it will just. Yeah, yeah. 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 people don't worry about it. They're all over the place. And then a lot of people come to ours specifically because of mm -hmm. all the extras that we have beyond the, um, the measures. Santa Claus. And we have, he's just going to say, we have Santa Claus. Yeah, we have, yeah, Santa will be here. And um, we also will yeah. have ballerinas from the Nutcracker mm -hmm. oh, coming through, oh. handing out their bookmarks about the um, upcoming Nutcracker performances. So that's a nice little addition. Yeah. 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 So it'll be. Where are the other ones? This one, one in um, Hatfield. Hatfield. Half, okay. Hatfield. Okay. Crystal. Oh. Greensburg. Susie and I will be serving. There it is. Okay, and holidays, is that that um, congregation of church in Florence? Yes. That's, that's, a, great yeah. that's a great That's a great There's one in East Hampton. Yeah, maybe East Hampton Congregation of Church. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So that's fine. These are traditionally bigger ones. Yeah, and well, those people don't like the fact that it's a good day, it's a clear day, they can get out and do the circuit. No, not yet. Yeah, a lot of people do that your age. They don't just go. And ours is the best, so people oh, right. need to get there. That's right. That'd be fine. So that's that's what I have for the report. That's, that's okay. Any questions, comments? Let's go on to back to the finances, mm -hmm. the budget for sixteen, FY sixteen. So thank you, Crystal, for going to get this. Yeah. Um, so we still have funds in our personal services. Um, May is almost here, right? But we'll have to start transferring <laughs> money, <laughs> and then we still have money in our um, ordinary maintenance. Uh, and I will say that we're having a problem with the suppression system in the kitchen. That is the uh, fan over the, um, over the stove. stove. So um, somebody's coming to look at that tomorrow, which is untimely because we need it for cooking. Mm -hmm. um, so they'll look at that. So we're doing we're doing okay. And I mentioned that about the suppression system because um, you know that can be a costly. That's probably happened to us two other times um, that there's been a problem with it. And um, <coughs> other times, it's, here we are. Yeah. Any questions on the finances? Mm -hmm. Other than we don't have enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's uh, move on then to building and grounds. Um, there's not anything to really report other than the fact that we are going to get a sign up front, hopefully a smaller one on the building in the back. Um, we do have the addition of the new uh, tree back there, the red maple, that mm -hmm. was dedicated yeah. in celebration of Micah Hearn. So we had a great time out there. Where is it? Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're um, waiting for the plaque to come, uh, which will be put out there um, next to the tree. We are looking for a new gardener out, 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 outside. Oh, you know, maybe we can get one from the tax work-off program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. because uh, Bob Griffin, who was our gardener, um, retired from, from doing that. He did a marvelous job out there. Yeah. What, what does it entail, I mean, in terms of how many hours and stuff? Does it it's, just depend it, it's whatever you want to do. Uh, he was planting, I mean, he has, has a lot of uh, Personal garden. Yeah, he, he okay. had his own plantings and he put them out. And, you know, he made the decisions where things should go. Okay. And uh, I think there's some wonderful selections mm -hmm. of uh, plantings out there. Yeah, he would do weeding and put down mulch and um, kind of he put new stuff in every spring and every fall he would put stuff in. So. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and so I can say, um, at least in our parking lot, we have our Dodge Caravan, the 1999 Dodge Caravan, which we took off the road um, a while ago because it wouldn't pass inspection. And um, Dave Pomerantz is putting it on a, uh, a list to see if somebody will buy it. And then what I would do is, um, let's say somebody actually pays for it. Mm -hmm. um, that I would ask City Council if that money could come back to us, yeah. which would be the same for the white van, um, which is the chairlift van that we had that was also taken off the road back in 2014. So, can you sell it for scrap? Uh, you know, I think that the the uh, Dodge van with the uh, lift, somebody could fix that what the whole underside has to be redone and what that means i'm not sure i don't know if that's even a possibility because it's all rusted it, it would cost a just under a thousand dollars to put a new frame in there okay so that can be someone else's excitement who's the problem and the and the uh, Dodge van, uh, uh, the small van, the kind of place to van, mm -hmm. uh, tie rods and stuff like that. You're probably talking about thousand, fifteen hundred dollars, but if you can get it cheap enough, everything else is working pretty well. And so it could be worth something to someone who wants to fool with it. Nothing so, else you can part it out. You know, you got enough mechanics in Smith School. That would be great teaching for them. Can't yeah, do it. We're getting a we'll catch down there. Well, ask, and have them, you know, do advertising at Smith School if anybody's interested in it. So the red caravan was donated to us in July of 2007. Um, another, a couple had owned that. They were moving out of Northampton, and City Council approved that we could accept that as a gift. Um, so, you know, I think we got a lot of use out of it. It was pretty much used for errands and, you know, pick up and drop offs for seniors medical equipment or their brown bag or whatever we needed it for. Um, and the handyman used it as well. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. So mm -hmm. I think it'll be good when our space is emptied up there with the, the van. It was a very nice donation to get because we did get a lot of use out of it. Oh, well, I think uh, while we're talking about that, uh, how are we doing on the new uh, handicap spots? Was approved, I understand, um, but yeah, um, how fast is that going? The handicap spots. Mm -hmm. Yes, there were going to be three handicap spots out there. The council, like, going through all the committees, um, the city council approved them, um, but then the mayor uh, wouldn't sign off on them because what the mayor is saying is that you don't need to get approval to have the three handicap spots out there. You, the city can just put the spots in. So that's what's going to happen. Central Services is just going to put the signs in. Mm -hmm. So there was no need to have um, an ordinance to have three parking spaces for handicap parking out there. Mm -hmm. So going through all of that, there will be three handicap spots out there. It just didn't need to go through the process that it went through. Mm -hmm. so, live and learn. Oh, yeah. So there'll be three more, and hopefully it can be done um, before the winter. We also noticed in the last uh, meeting uh, in Building and Grounds, you were asked about the Butch McDonald Way, and you said yeah. you would try to find out something about this guy. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. How did that happen? He, he is an employee of the Housing Authority um, maintenance. He, um, if I can remember what I've been told, he was in charge of the maintenance uh, department, and um, I don't know if I don't know the circumstances to him not being at work now, but he worked for the housing authority, and so that was named after him. Who decides that? That actually is housing authority property. Okay. It's um, mm -hmm. it's uh, their street. Okay. All right. Well, it's all their property here. Was it just yeah. leasing this? Yeah. So, yeah. Then speaking, yeah. And so. Um, okay. No. But a, a well-liked um, employee and just a very nice man is everything that I'm being told. So there's two signs out there, one near our parking spaces and then one at the end of uh, Fruit Street because from Fruit Street now it becomes McDonald's Way. 
which is really like a highway from <laughs> end of Fruit Street all the way down in Cars come. It's very, very yeah, it's a little side street. Yeah. Stop and look. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. No stop sign. Stop and look anyway. Mm -hmm. They don't slow down. Okay. Anything more on the building grounds? No. I'll just say that Bob has done a great job with the outdoors. He cut mm -hmm. down all of the uh, grasses um, in our retention ponds. So he does a nice job inside and out. It's probably why it looks as good as it does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw something on TV, it was a uh, local thing uh, they were doing about the, uh, the senior center was mentioned as lead buildings, mm -hmm. they were talking about this. And, and they, did, uh, they did what they said was, it looked like a current, it was on the grounds, but there was, uh, the meditation garden wasn't there. Um, and a few other things, so it had really been done some time back. Yeah, but he didn't mention that, that's, that pond or mm -hmm. retention space. So it was a nice little piece on, on on this building, and they went down to the basement and showed mm -hmm. that. Down. Yeah, Chris Mason, the energy mm -hmm. coordinator, yep. uh, did that. So, any questions on building and grounds? Let's move on to old business. Yep. So to report on um, kick the tires, uh, currently there are sixty-two thousand one hundred forty-seven dollars and five cents. Oh, you're making progress. Yeah. Yep. So it's. Yeah, and I, I don't know that I mentioned at the last meeting, because maybe it happened after the last meeting, that Morris School contributed additional funds um, to the... He to is the such tires. a good guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. he is. So that was one of the last things he did before he left mm -hmm. for Florida. He told so me he was going I, to do that. He said, I'm going to wait for the last minute. He said, I'm going to kick in a couple of thousand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I told him when he came back, he would get a ride in the van. <laughs> <laughs> Free. In one of the vans. So... Um, yeah, I'd say it's kind of getting to a halt, and there's uh, funding in the uh, gift account that we can use. So, when you say gift account, whose gift account? Ours? It's or our the city? gift account. It's our gift account, but it's a city account. Yeah. So, um, when we do the annual appeal, for example, that money goes into a gift account that the city council approved that we could um, have monies come in. Um, that are specific for the Council on Aging Senior Services. So when somebody says, oh, you know, is the city going to get this? And it's like, no, it goes into the gift account. It's um, our money to use, but the mayor has to approve this, oh. the uh, expenditure, and then city council has to vote on it. You know, to that would be unlike uh, Elder Bridge, Inc., which that money you donated to there, we can, the board can release that directly to the city to Patty, without permission from the, the council or the mayor, because that's the external money. Right. So, but what Bob's talking about is the Friends Group, which right. is Elder Vision yeah. Inc. Yeah. When monies go into there, um, that board decides what the money can be used for. It doesn't have to go through city council. That's like any Friends Group of any organization. It's a separate board. Um, it's a sep. They're separate accounts, and um, one doesn't have to do the other except that. That friends group through Elder Vision Inc. is to support what we do. Yeah. Basically, what we wait for is Patty to make a request. So, exactly how much more money do you need for the van? I'm going to say it's probably less than two thousand. Well, <coughs> wow. so I'm. Right. Are we getting any I, further on finding vans? Or? Um, no, and that's. And that's I just haven't board. put the time into it. Yeah. Um, you know, one one of the. Uh, state bid sites and it's through Plymouth County um, that that dealership had no vans um, and again I think I mentioned they really call them buses now um, they didn't have any uh, so there's there's two other ones that I can go to so I think once after the festivals over it's really focusing on our vans so that we can have them for next year but generally speaking we didn't run the vans in the winter anyway because of snow conditions. They're not that easy to drive. Well, not easy to drive and getting elderly people in and out mm -hmm. in the snow and oh, ice, hard, walking yeah. to and from Just their pick homes. them up and throw them in the <laughs> Yeah, there's too many, yeah, too many <laughs> chances of them. Yeah, he might hear his back. Taking the skin, you know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, and the purpose of the VMs, at least initially, will be to get seniors to and from the senior center yeah, so that they're right. being brought here for programs and services. Um, and then we'll see how we can 
manage that. Yeah. And you know, we do have a viable medical transportation program that's going very well, and that's yeah. being done through uh, private vehicles. Okay. Uh, anything other in old business? Any questions? Okay, move on to new business. Um, actually, Highland Valley Elder Services grants there, there, that really should have been taken off because that was reported that we did receive a grant. Um, Jennifer mentioned it again that we did receive um, $3,250 and again, that was the only one that we received from them. So that's, that's what I got for new business. Well, I just wanted to say, um, you know, back on the Highland Valley Board of Directors, and it's quite an active board, and there was a retreat initially that try to figure out what does a board do. And it's really become quite a business, and um, there's a lot of people that are expected to do a lot more Act, you know, activities for Highland Valley, such as belong on at least one or two committees, etc. Good. Mm -hmm. Well, that's something that was needed, I think, before. Oh, yeah. The oh, old yeah. board was, well, of course, originally created by Bob. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I understand. Stamp. But, but, yeah. But it's really become yeah. more professional. Yeah. We'll have to put back on the agenda uh, a report for yeah. Highland Valley. Yeah. yeah. If you're here, then you can yep. get a mm -hmm. report. Mm -hmm. Sure. And we'll see if we can get you some more. Assistance over there, maybe some people <coughs> go with. Yeah, well, it's it's interesting. It, there's a lot of people there, but the new people are on it too. So mm -hmm. it's been, it was a really the retreat was good because it, you know it had we had the facilitator was somebody who you know gave an overview of what do boards do, mm -hmm. you know, and responsibilities and etc. So mm -hmm. it was good. Especially so, that <laughs> that was more of a responsible board. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like I'm belonging on a. It's a corporate board. Yes. Yeah, it is. Maybe you cannot be on it, but still a corporation. No, board. it is. It is. And so you have to. When I was at the MCOA conference, uh -huh. Emmett Schmarzo, yeah. who works for the Executive Office of Elder Affairs, mm -hmm. said that there is um, an insurance that nonprofits can get, mm -hmm. and it's a free insurance, and it um, represents, it's for their board members because he said so that way your board cannot be sued or be, oh. um, because the insurance then will cover the board members he said that um, he's on a number of boards nonprofit boards and that they all have this insurance oh, I can't remember the name of it do you remember the name of it what he said I'd have to look at my notes yeah let me know or email me that'd be yeah, great I'd be that. That. Jim had brought Jim Spencer brought that up way back when we were on. The oh, we always talk. I mean, even before you guys were, we talked yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. We were told by the lawyer that it's not necessary. I mean, mm -hmm. people brought it up. Yeah. Uh oh. Is that the lawyer for uh, yeah. Highland Valley? It was. So I'm the person still. Yeah, that's what we you know, didn't have much faith in him. But uh, and also, of course, if you represent the city, there's no enhancer you. It will be transferred probably to the city, but I don't well, know. Well, that's a really fine. interesting thing, you know, because it's it's like even though it's on the board, and I'm I'm a representative of the Council on Aging, but it's it's evolved to a lot more than just being the COA rep. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway. Be a good thing to look into. Yeah. No. And it'd be interesting. So there's two more openings for our. You get on the new people. <laughs> well, the two the two new volunteers um, on our board. One is a geriatric social worker, retired geriatric social worker, and the other is a financial advisor, and she was also an ESPN analyst. So they have Whoa, very great. good experience. Oh, yeah. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. That's all we can get. Yeah. No, that's important. Those are important. <coughs> the skill level, those skill sets are really important to all boards. Yeah. Yeah, I think that just about wraps it up. Is there anything else, Jim? Peggy Winnett, one of my members for the book group, reading, the writing group, mm -hmm. just had her book published last week oh. at 91 years old. Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, that's, that, that's, that's really kind of cool for that us. That is cool. Yeah, it really is. And we got. Two of them have new agents now. Um, the, the photography club won 22 awards this summer at different shows and 
taxpayers. And we've also, I was up at the library and inter got interviewed by the lady who runs the display up there. Vape? Vape, yeah. yeah like and um, we were in the final rug right now. Um, Faye's husband got killed. Um, she was, he was the one that got killed up in Deerfield oh, or Greenfield right. on the bicycle. Oh. So that's kind of been put on a hold really? for a while. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, 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 hit by a car. Yeah, hit by a car. But so that's kind of on hold, but we're almost sort of guaranteed like sometime in the fall to show our stuff. Oh, that's funny. Mm -hmm. On the council, it will come under the council on aging. Oh. So you'll be having a show there? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. they, they do send out um, call for entries for that. Well, there was like 64 entries and we we're in the final. Oh, good. Bunch, the of like, I think you're going to the hospital. Pardon? And two galleries at the hospital. I haven't gotten to there yet. Um, so, Jim, are you going to write a little article? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I'm going to write something nice. So, okay, and so, Joanne, he's writing an article for the paper. What's it? This yeah. summer? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I'd like to get it, after we get it all squared away as to what the date is and everything else. So, just the December issue, do you think? Yeah. No, I, well, it, it depends oh, when she comes minute. back to I work. Thought, it's December, December. the next issue. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and besides that, I gotta, if I gotta wait till she comes back to work. <coughs> okay, so when you're ready. Yeah, but we'll get it before it happens. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm pretty proud of Betty, though. I think it's just great. It's, really it's so good. nice to see your students thrive like that. Yeah. She, does she should have readings here and stuff? She's like going that. to have. She's a little shy, but we're working on that. Okay. The name of the book? The name of the book is Secrets Teacher. And Secret is a little Chinese girl that took the name Secret because her father told her, no, Silent, I'm sorry, not Secret, Silence. Silence was a good thing. So when she got to pick an English name, she picked the word silence. And, and Peggy was this late girl's teacher in China. And this is her whole story of teaching Chinese kids and the interaction she had. Wow. This during when communism was running. Oh, so it's not fiction? No, it's, it, it is fiction because she had to make it fiction. But it's from, you know, it's, okay, it's pretty close. But uh, it's a tremendous book. If you're interested in, <clears throat> in at that time period, communism was really, really strong, mm -hmm. and, and being an American there, oh, and wow. what she had to deal with, and yeah. and uh, it's sad, extremely sad. That will bring tears to your eyes, mm -hmm. but it brought tears to my eyes. But it does have that. Yeah. But we, that's where you are, those two people. Okay. If we have no other business, or do we have anything else? If we don't, I uh, can motion to adjourn. I'm just going to talk to you. All those in favor? Anybody opposed?